Well, we will be ready in September mm -hmm. to roll up some ideas and, and corporations. So uh, I think we all should say, you know, stay tuned and uh, follow us. Yeah. So I'm here in Amsterdam now at Green Tech Fair. And if you are in the horticulture space, then this is the event of the year, in my opinion. In here, we are seeing a lot of greenhouse technologies and there is a lot of vertical farming technology as well. This is the fifth time I'm here. And the first couple of times I was here five years ago, six years ago, maybe there was two booths with vertical farming. And today we are seeing around 30% of the booth uh, around vertical farming. So it's really taking off. And there we can see that there's a lot of, of vertical farming technologies that are trending. And the trend shows clearly that we are moving up uh, in the industry and it's getting more and more popular. So if you are not at this event or haven't heard of it before, I thought I would make this video so you wouldn't miss anything. I took some videos from in the fair and in there you can see some of the most interesting things that I found. So hopefully I'm going to have a, a video as well with Krista, who's also uh, in the vertical farming industry. He's doing the grow pipes. So grow pipes is from Sweden and they are doing essentially vertical stacked grow systems in NFT channels. And it's a really cool way of getting in touch with industry leaders and learning more about the industry because if you are serious about going into something and being serious about a vertical farm, then this is the place to be. If you are not here this year or haven't heard of it, then maybe you should consider going here next year because a lot of industry experts are here. You can learn a lot about greenhouse technologies and vertical farming in general. So let's go in and see how it looks and see what is there. As you can see in the one of these halls, we have a lot of automation, a lot of automation for bigger greenhouses and also possibly vertical farms and there are different halls we have a lot of the greenhouse technologies we have some vertical farming there's also some medical cannabis to to see and we are really seeing what can be done in in the irrigation and in the greenhouse technology and a lot of ai different ai companies are here and it's really the place to be if you want to network with other people who's also part of this industry. Well, we are here the third day and the last day. Yeah. So uh, it's around three o'clock, so uh, it's getting a bit quiet. That's why we're walking the hills, uh, just catching up these two days or three days for your side. Yeah. Um, How was the fair for you? I mean, I must say, uh, I like this fair. Uh, it's. It's, it's more greenhouse, less vertical, true vertical farming. Uh, however, I think it's a nice combination of those both still. So uh, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's, it's nice being here, meeting uh, people like you. Yeah, same to uh, you, yes, the, Yeah, and yes, catch up. Uh, we don't have a, a booth this year, mm -hmm. but uh, I would like to have a booth probably next year yeah to showcase and to also talk about the projects that we are doing mm -hmm. both in scandinavia and elsewhere and and showcase some real real cases so uh, i would really like to uh, to be here one day at least hopefully next year yeah have you seen anything nice here anders that you would like to talk about yeah so i saw that there has been uh, some different uh Light companies, irrigation companies, uh, yeah. it's, it's nice to see what people are doing and being on the forefront of what's happening in the industry. Very much so. Um, I think it's, it's great to see the levels of automation. There's uh, AI companies sprouting up and just seeing how people are moving in the, in the industry in, in general. Yeah, um, there's a lot of new stuff coming up. Yeah. Uh, it will take time to finalize some of these bigger AI and robotics and so on. Uh, maybe it will be coming, maybe not. But uh, I like to see uh, all kind of suppliers 
the, 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 the thing is really to put together the right suppliers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And to sell the, the so-called turnkey solutions in different sizes. Yeah. And lighting is definitely one big thing mm -hmm. within vertical farming. Mm -hmm. And as always, you see all these 20, 30, 40 LED lamp companies. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there are some innovation there, obviously. A lot of climate controlling, a lot of different substrates. Yeah, and, uh, and it's really like it, it, when, when you're coming from the outside of the industry, uh, it can really be a big jungle, like because there's so many different suppliers. It is a jungle, and that's why uh, yeah. we need people like you. Thank you. You know, selecting uh, you know the right partners. Yeah. Uh, and important. obviously, keep an eye on what is happening on the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, now now it's getting quite quiet. We're <laughs> walking here. Yeah. Um, most people are already packing the booths. Got uh, a, a huge turn up this year as well in, yeah. in the in the businesses. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah, and it's it's uh, it's it's good to go go here and and uh, connect and also get some ideas together about how we can further develop things and uh, you know combine the the true vertical with the micro green development that you're doing. Yeah, and also uh, the uh, combine those two packages. Yeah, so that your customers also can can offer a more let's say more turnkey solutions or more. To, Turnkey produced to to their clients. So uh, so let's. Yeah. I think that's very interesting. And then I also, uh, in fact, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, th there is there is some optimism here uh, for sure. Mm -hmm. And I hope that it will keep on and that next year it will be even more interesting to be here. And I I think that could be a good way also next year to to uh, keep on networking. You know, yeah. and and uh, the, the the guys you're working with. You know, uh, meet them, maybe do something uh, or, or something together, just uh, showcasing your your clients what is actually happening. Yeah, yeah, but all this scene, you know. And you are you are also uh, a lot into the NFT and the vertical NFT with very with much so. your systems. Very much so. So yeah, I think it would be very nice to just showcase the 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 true vertical NFT system mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. and, and talk about the advantages, but also showcase what we are talking about and, and trying to implement in Scandinavia and elsewhere. Yeah, make, make scalable yeah. models that are standardized uh, Much more. and easy to work with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think that's, that's a step that we have been taking the last couple of months and we will keep on doing it. It will probably be a a couple of uh, more slow months ahead this summer. Yeah. Uh, but Good we we are. Time. Yeah, but we will be ready in September mm -hmm. to roll up some ideas and, and corporations. So uh, I w think we all should say you know stay tuned and uh, follow us. Yeah. Where, where can you, you uh, where can people find you? Uh, well, you can find me through distributors like Nordic. Hydro, yeah. but you can also contact me directly on growpipes.com where we have all the contact details or the social media. Uh, so whenever you reach out, I will <laughs> forward it to uh, Anders if it's his territory or uh, elsewhere if it's uh, some new markets. But yeah. something we can talk about. Yeah, sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Sounds really good. Yeah, is there anything you would like to add? Or... No, I think uh, just nice being here and nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Krista, yeah. as always. Yeah, always. Always a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>